Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a getting ready with me and it's like mostly a getting ready with me. I didn't really chat very much. We chatted about the makeup, but other than that, there wasn't very much talking. And today, as you guys saw my thumbnail, let's see if I can get this without knocking anything over. We're doing ColourPop and ColourPop recently sent me a, a box. Um, I'm a part of their like ambassador program and they did send me a discount code as i mentioned in my video it's rosy five i don't get anything off of it like i'm not getting a commission gives you five dollars off but i think uh, it does track it one way or another i'm not 100 percent sure so use that code especially because everything's super cheap and this palette that i used today holy crap i can't wait to use it again this is the look i did it's a little bit different than what i'm like usually used to and i love it but at the same time i'm kind of like is this a Rosie-esque look? I think that's what I want to say. <laughs> is this like rosy enough? Is this out of my... Anyways, so yeah. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Arla Q. Rosie. I have seen a lot of subscribers after a couple of shares on social media um, with the new Jeffree Star launch. So welcome to my channel. Uh, if you're here from Instagram, say hi below. I appreciate you coming here. And if you aren't new here, welcome back. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. W let's just get right to the getting ready me part of it. Okay, so ColourPop sent me a huge, uh, well, not a huge, ColourPop sent me a box of goodies and I did purchase some from their sales. So that is what I'm going to be playing with today. I have the Perception palette in there, which I'm so excited to play with. And just for record, they did give me a coupon code. Use code ROSIE5 for $5 off. Um, I don't make any money off of it. It's just a discount code. Possibly to track to see if they want to, like, you know, send me more packages. I really don't know what the code is for, but I'm assuming it's some sort of tracking code. So use it. <laughs> okay, that was an awkward laugh. <laughs> my, sounds like my voice is leaving. So this is the Perception Shayla X ColourPop palette. She just announced that she's releasing a new palette, 9-7-2018, or announcing something with ColourPop on the 7th of this month. Hopefully this video is up by then. I'm almost positive, Billy. But this package is so cute. This palette is something I've had my eye on forever. The names of the shades are on the back. And when you open it, it has a huge mirror. And then that is what the shades look like. I freaking love this palette. Like, I'm excited to play with this. And I've been excited and I've been... Like, I've added it to my card a couple of times, and then I just haven't pulled the trigger. So we're going to go in and play with this today. So let me scoot in a little bit, and then we'll we'll get to playing. So the names are also in the front. So they're in the back, and they're in the front. That's something I really like. Um, but they are backwards, kind of like the Kylie ones that I talked about before. So we're going to go into Culture, which is this one here, for just a basic transition shade. And then we're going into Thick. That's with um, a C, T-H-I-C, not T-H-I-C-K, uh, which is an orange shade. And we're going to just add that right below it. Next, we are going into Revenge. So we've used these three shades so far. I feel like this is going to be a very fall-esque look, especially with fall, like, days away. Okay, maybe more like weeks. It's like weeks away. I'm so freaking ready for the weather to drop. I'm, it's supposed to be a really bad winter. So I'm not really ready for that. But whatever. I'm ready for the summer to be over. It's been so hot. I don't... I used to be big on heat. And now I'm like, go away. And that's where I'm at right now. So next I'm going to go into Stallion. Which is a really, really gorgeous, like, focus. Okay, so next I'm going to go into Stallion. Now that it's focused. I don't know why it keeps unfocusing. But we went into Stallion. And we're going to just dab that corner. Okay, so I'm going to take some of this ColourPop concealer. This is the No Filter. And this is in the shade um, 00 Fair. Which is, like, their palest shade available. And I'm just going to clean this up. Then we're going to take a little bit of 14, which is this really pretty blue one, which, again, probably not going to focus. And we're just going to start there. That's gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. 
So we're going to take another flat shaded brush and go into the, that's TF. And I might want to spray this one because I want it to be like, so oh, actually no, I don't need to spray it because holy crap, look at how pretty that is. I'm going to take a little bit of play out because I feel like my crease isn't dark enough and I want to make sure it like all looks good. Because I'm not sure how I feel about this look quite yet. I think that helps. I am going to take, <laughs> I can't find my shade in my ColourPop concealer and it could be that I'm out. So I'm just going to use my, my foundation and just dab a little bit on the edge of this like oval shader. I'm pretty sure this is a crown brush. Yes, it is. It's the oval concealer brush. This is one of my favorites that I mentioned before. Use Rosie 20 to save. And then I'm going to clean that up. So there's a little bit of fallout, obviously. We use a wipe to wipe that down. So I actually really like the way that blended out. I'm going to finish the other eye off camera and I will be right back. Okay, so another item that was sent over is their priming spray. I thought it was a setting spray, but on the bottom it says priming spray, so I am going to use it as a priming spray. This is the Amethyst Crystal Spray, uh, and Amethyst is the Gemini birthstone. One of them because Pearl is also known as one of their their, their crystals, whatever you want to call it. So, that like stream is so hard, but it feels good. So, now that my skin is primed, <laughs> I'm going to use what little foundation I have to just go over and under my eyes and like my problematic areas. Kind of like a concealer. So I'm going to go back into the Perception palette and I'm going to go into the shade Unbothered. And this is like a really like fragile blending brush. And I'm going to highlight that brow bone. Oh, hello. I told y'all I knew I was going to love this palette. And I'm going to take that same one and highlight my inner corner. And a little bit up. Okay, so next is basically foundation. And I'm just going to pour it on my face. Oops. This is in the shade medium 100. I do have another shade which is lighter which I believe I'm going to start using soon because that's my winter shade and I'm already losing my tan as I mentioned in my last video. Okay so I don't have like I said my shade in ColourPop, on, ColourPop concealer so I'm just going to use a tart one that I have which I am almost out of apparently just because it was a mini sample. And that's the only thing that I don't have from ColourPop today. Well, I guess I don't have a mascara. So now we're going to go into the ColourPop Pro No Filter Setting Powder. This is in the shade Banana, which is a yellowish shade. Can you see that? I'm going to just set under my eyes so that I can finish under my eyes, like makeup. My uh, under eye makeup. I'll tell you one thing, this shit is so good for oily skin. So I'm going to go into Revenge again under the eyes. And blending up. Kind of looks like it blends together. Then I'm going to take the tiniest bit of 14, which it's still not focusing on 14. I don't know why it hates 14. And then I'm going to go closer to the waterline with this shade. Okay, I just had to do this eye all over again, so I'm kind of bummed about that. But I don't have a blush. I just realized that. Does ColourPop make blushes? Yes, they do. I just don't have any, so I'm gonna also I'm gonna also do that off camera. Okay, so that setting powder, the no filter, is super drying. I'm gonna go into the In Nude Endo. This one was a complete surprise, actually palette that they sent over. It's kind of a dupe for Anastasia's Nicole Guerrero palette. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take Morning After and Glad You Came and I'm going to wet the brush. And we'll see. Oh, that's so 
kind of hard to go back to a regular highlight after um, my Jeffree Star video. Not gonna lie. Y'all, that formula is bomb. This highlight is so pretty. For lips, we're gonna go into Silhouette. This is an oldie, but a goodie. I don't even know if it's still available, but it's one I had, so. And I wanted to go red. Okay, so I did just use the, the Lancome Big Lash Mascara. I love that mascara. In fact, I should probably stock up on it while I can. Anyways, for lashes, I'm gonna do the Noir Fairy Lights. I wanted to wear my Pixie Lux ones, but apparently I misplaced them after I took them off. So I'm gonna pop these babies on and let me actually set before I pop them on. While that dries, I'm gonna pop on my lashes and I'll be right back. And we're back. Thank you so much for watching. That's the final look. Uh, the highlighter, the lip is lipstick is old, but this is basically a full face of ColourPop. The only thing that wasn't ColourPop was the concealer because I can't find my bottle. I think I'm out. I'll have to replenish my supply. And then the blush. So those were all other brands. But the lipstick, the highlight, which is a, a, a dupe for Anastasia, like I said, it's actually really freaking pretty. Let me swatch these for you because I didn't really swatch anything in this video. It was, like I said, a straight up getting ready with me. It wasn't even a chatty getting ready with me. If you guys wanna see me do a chatty getting ready with me, let me know. In fact, let me know what you guys wanna see me doing, like posting, coming up, recording in advance, because I really wanna get back on track with my video. That shade right there, this one, like, hello, hallelujah. Those are so pretty. You guys know me though, I'm just a sucker for highlighters in general. So that's what the in Nude Endo, I think this palette's like $12, which is a steal, especially because the Anastasia highlighting kit is discontinued. That was a limited edition one. I got so freaking lucky and picked one, picked one up during their like super limited relaunch um, this past holiday season. The one other thing that was sent that I did not get to talk about uh, because I used the palette is their highlighter. And this is in the shade Total Package. So I wanna swatch that for you really quick. The packaging is really cute. And I believe it's sold separate. So you can order this or you can order Just the Pan. And I have, they sent both of those. So I wanna swatch that really quick, like I said. That's what it looks like, the top on my knuckle. is probably a terrible spot to swatch it, so let me swatch it <laughs> on the bottom. So right there, on the bottom, is what it looks like. That is actually so pretty. I probably should have used that today. Oh well. Oh well. There's a lot of goodies to play with. I did pick up a lot of singles. I picked up 12 singles during their sale that I paid for with my own money. They did not send me those. The one they did send me was Glass Bowl. And this is one that I've just seen so many amazing things about. And I just had to get my hands on it to see if it was as pretty as people say it is. And it's basically a duochrome shadow, which I find super pretty. Let's see if it focus. And people are right. It is really, really pretty. So I'm going to maybe put all the singles in a palette and then, you know, maybe do a look. Let me know if you want to see more ColourPop on my channel. I really, I like, you know, to know what exactly to do moving forward with my channel. I know I've taken some breaks and I've recorded, honestly, probably about five or six videos that I just haven't edited. Either I don't like the footage, I'm just really hard on myself and I just, I just can't bring myself to post it. Or it's just what I discussed isn't necessarily relevant anymore so <laughs> ignore my messy hair yet again so sick of this straight hair thing but that was pretty much it thank you so much for watching if you're new here welcome to my channel as i mentioned in the beginning of the video i'm rlq rosie on instagram if you're you're new here new subscribe i appreciate you i love you i hope you enjoy my content like from here on like i said leave any suggestions below so i'm not just like doing things you guys don't want to see if you guys want to see like more challenge videos i think i mentioned that before during my last one and i just haven't seen any that i like so if you have any specific ideas let me know and if you don't like this video please just walk away pretend it did not happen and i will see the rest of you in the next video bye